This is a wasp. This is a disc I really underestimated until I really started throwing it. So a little backstory to my time with the wasp. Um, when I first started playing disc golf, my buddy Jacob gave me one to try out. I tried it. I honestly really didn't like it until a few weeks ago where my buddy Aiden, who is also part of Team Figgins, basically go follow Aiden. He recommended me this after I was struggling with my Discmania MD3, which is kind of funny because I'm wearing a Discmania shirt right now. That's kind of awkward, not gonna lie. He recommended me this saying that this is gonna be a little more overstable than an MD3 for me, and he thinks it'll probably fit my bag very well as a replacement for that disc. Nothing against MD3. I still really like the disc, but just for the time being, I just want to try the disc out. I'm honestly really liking it. I actually have two wasps with me here right now. Um, the wasp only comes in in Z plastic on Discraft's website at least. However, Ledgestone has an ESB swirl that they just came out in drop one of this year. Um, so if you can find one of these, these are probably gonna be slightly more stable than a regular Z, which is kind of surprising for ESP versus Z, which Z is usually just more overstable in general. But this one is dead flat where the Z has a little dome in it. Um, and honestly, this ESP Swirl one is sick. Wasp has a giant bead on the bottom. I personally do not like beads whatsoever. I think they get in the way a lot of times. However, when I hold this in my hand, I hardly notice it when I power grip it. It's quite amazing, to be honest. In fact, it kind of just tucks in. The bead kind of tucks in just in the crease of my finger. Kind of nice, not gonna lie. good. That's all I gotta say. Very underrated disc. Look at that. Oh, squared up with the tree. Dude, heck to the yes. Dude, crazy. Crazy. Dude. I'm so bad at this one. Oh, it got through. It got through. It got through. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course I get on the last try. Oh, one more, actually. There it is. Okay. All right, in conclusion, this is a great stable mid-range. Um, a very underrated mid-range, because I feel like a lot of people don't really have one of these in your bag, in their bag. I mean, this is an older disc. Um, I'm not really sure when it was PDGA approved, but it's definitely one of the older disc craft molds, but it's still in production today. Ledgestone just came out with a new ESP Swirl version of it that's more stable than the Z. Dude, I highly recommend getting one of these. I think for a more professional player, it's gonna be a straight mid-range when more of an amateur player like myself is gonna be kind of more straight to stable mid-range. So, I mean, I think it's a very versatile disc. If you have a good forehand, these are gonna be great for forehands. If, unlike me, I mean, you'll throw a lot better on this hole than I will. So I highly recommend going to teamfiggins.com, picking up a Wasp today. I'm not sure if we have any more of these left, but we definitely have some of these. So go to teamfiggins.com right now and i'll see you in the next video peace out just a neighborhood dog around chilling so funny he just loves coming over here and rolling in the grass i guess he's friendly he doesn't really go up to anyone it's funny he was kind of watching me throw too and like once i was done like throwing like two discs i was holding he just walked over here tried rolling in the grass that's a funny dog what the heck oh he's peeing now don't be on my desk, please. Or poop. Highly appreciated. Oh, good job. Yeah, cover it up. Good job, bud.